Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at snapwithelaine.com. Today I have a triple easel card for you. If I hold it up this way you can see it better. It folds flat for posting and it isn't as complicated as it looks. When you open it out it's the front that has been cut into equal thirds scored diagonally and then with stoppers on the inside of the card to give you the triple easel card. This is from the In the Wild Suite which you can find in the 2021 to 2022 annual catalogue on pages 44 to 45. It's 53.75 for the whole suite and you'll get one each of the Wildcat Bundle, which is the stamp set and dies. You get a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper. I've cut this down to 6 by 6. This die will cut out the standing tigers which face this way and you can also use it to cut tigers that are facing in the opposite direction. To do this you need to hold it up to the light. Now I haven't got a light box but if you hold the paper up to a window or toward the light you can, can you see that? You can put the die on the back of the paper with the cutting edge face up and you can then position the die uh, where the lion, the uh, tiger is and secure it with washi tape and then you can die cut these figures as well which is how I die cut this tiger because really it cuts out a tiger that's facing to the left rather than the tiger facing to the right. Some of the tigers you have to fussy cut because there isn't a die for it so I did that. This tiger that seems to be at a funny angle I cut those all out by hand and then also the tiger for this that will cut out this tiger and those that are facing the other way. I bag them up into separate bags so I have them to hand whenever I need them. In fact in the wild suite you've got the big cat dies which will cut out eight sitting tigers and 12 walking tigers and there's also sheets which will cut 12 plants from this sheet and also 28 leaves from this sheet. On the back of this sheet it will cut out 408 vines. These will cut out the vines. This will cut out these leaves here and this one will cut out this plant here. They will also die cut the stamped images um, for these here. I haven't used these yet but these will cut out this shape here and this one. And in the sweet collection you'll also get the animal print embossing folder. So that's four things in total. So you get the Wildcats bundle which is the stamp set and dies, um, in the Wild Designer series paper and the animal print embossing folder. I've used the embossing folder on this sample here. What's amazing about this stamp set is that the figures, these both these cats, there are stamps with stripes on so that it will look like a tiger, but then you can use the same um, body to stamp the spots for the leopard and um, there are two different faces, one for the leopard and one for the tiger. This one 
I stamped as a tiger and on this sample I stamped the leopard so let's crack on and do this card so you need a card base which is basically half an A4 sheet I've trimmed it down to five and three quarters this way by eight and a quarter and in metric that'll be rounded off to 13.5 by 21 centimeters an inside piece which is three and three quarter inches by five and a half a scrap of whisper white so you could stamp out this sitting tiger and also the stoppers for inside the card for your easels the inks I'm using are Crash Curry, Merry Merlot and Soft Succulent Stamparatus. Take your card base in Soft Succulent and you want to cut, cut the card front. And so with a short side at the top, you line it up at 1 and 7 8 inches and you cut from there down to the score line. Okay, so I'm going to line up my blade where the mark is and I'm going to cut from the score line up to the end fold that back measure one and seven eighth again line up my blade at the score line and cut up in my scoreboard and the easel is going to be folded Where's my card gone? The easel is going to be folded this way. So you want your diagonal line to go from the bottom left up to the top right. So <coughs> fold the, those two flaps back and align the tip of your top right corner with the bottom left along that groove. I've marked my scoreboard at six inches and you want to be as accurate as you can. Okay, so bend that back and do the same with the next one. Put your stylus there and score up. Stylus there, stylus at the point and score. Now burnish the score lines, so you want that folded in, right at the corner. Okay, so now they should go in like that. You want to burnish this crease as well. Then you need three pieces of designer series paper with pattern one so I'm using the vines and if this pattern paper doesn't have a direction then you only need two but if it has got a direction then you need three pieces and all these have been cut at four and one eighth by one and seven eighths so that will be 4.5 by 10.5 centimeters the reason why the same size as the panel because I've found from past experience if I cut this uh, eighth of an inch smaller when I cut the diagonal the angle of the uh, diagonal won't be the same as the diagonal on this piece here so you need to cut them the same size as your panels so now we want to cut that diagonally from point to point. So now I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch off the right angle end and I'm going to have to cut an eighth of an inch from this bit here as well. And then you'll find that the angle will fit Okay, so I'll do that off camera to save time and I'll be back. Now we've cut these pieces. We're going to have to glue it onto the card base. Okay. 
so those are the base ones glued now I'm going to have to do this one and this is the bit we want so we want the upper half so make sure the vines are pointing the right way so we're cutting again from corner to corner and then trim it down which will be just right for there so I'll do this off camera and I'll be back so now it's time to glue these on now we can glue this to the inside pre-cut my tigers so I'm going to draw a line because you don't want to put glue above this line here that's where the tiger's head is so I shall just draw a line there then I know not to put glue on that piece you probably can't see it very well Do the standing tiger as well. Fold that out. I'm going to trim this tiger off. I want the other half of the body. And I won't glue it just yet because this tiger has to go in front of the sitting tiger, which I have to now stamp. First, I'm going to stamp the tiger's head in Merry Merlot. You need to stamp that first, then it's easier to line up the main body. You want to line up this body where the nose is and the ear. Once you've stamped the head it's easier to line up the body. I've done that and pick up the stamp bring in the crushed curry and the other clever thing about this is that the stripes will fit both the standing tiger and the sitting tiger so you need to line up the stripes like so pick up the stamp with this stamp I'm going to do some hinge stamping to stamp three plants in soft succulent and those will be my stoppers. I'll go and die cut this with my cutting sandwich, platform one, thin die adapter, platform two, base cutting plate, platform three, my cardstock die, cutting edge face down, and then a second platform three and I'm ready to run it through the machine. Put dimensionals on the back of the plants, those are your stoppers. Take the backing tape off. Look, I've got this new toy which will just hoover up all the stamping dimensionals. Gone like magic. Now I need this to see where it's going to stop, round about there. So I turn it over and I can just trim these off. I can stamp by centimetre. I just want to stamp hello at the bottom here so that it's visible I want my sitting tiger there so bend that back to 
let's, let's see where I put the glue. Grab my pencil, draw a line. I don't want any glue above that line, so just down here, round the tail and his paw. Then grab this tiger and pop him in front there. And have him flush with the edge of the paper. So just to show you this card again, that's the tiger and that's the leopard. So isn't that clever? Just same body but different faces and different animal and then of course there's this one with the designer series paper and those are the leopards so I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial do give me a thumbs up if you liked it all the supply links are below this video in the show more section you can also find me on Pinterest Facebook or Instagram if you want to read more about this, then hop over to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye!